Hi everybody, it's Brad with the Big Family Homestead, and in this video, well, I gotta be honest with you, maybe a little bit of a rant, maybe a little bit of a question, and maybe a little bit of a proposition for me and you and everybody, so let's get cracking. Okay, people, so today is November 2nd, and I could not believe my ears. Uh, I was driving home from work, and basically, you know, cutting through the radio stations, and, and all of a sudden I was like, huh? Is that what I think it is? And it was like, sleigh bells ring, are you listening? And I went, what? Double take, brink, brink. Yeah, I could not believe it. Basically, there are stations, radio stations, uh, that are normally in our listening, you know, whatever you want to call it, the, the, the stations we choose from, our favorites, that have already switched over to all Christmas music. I couldn't believe it. And uh, the thing is this, um, well, first of all, please, guys, please, please stop, stop the madness. I love Christmas music, do not get me wrong. As a matter of fact, Glenn Miller and the big band swing sound is one of the, it's probably one of my favorite styles of music, the big band. And so you've got all the, you know, the Bing Crosby's and all those guys, the Rat Pack. That stuff is nostalgia city to me, and I love that kind of music. The problem is, it used to be that you would only hear it maybe, you know, a few weeks before Christmas, and then, of course, the stores started playing it more and more and more, and then it got to be the staple. Pretty much, bam, Thanksgiving happens, and then that's all you hear. And it, it was bearable at that point. Um, and I still really enjoyed it, especially like the sacred carols, the Oh Holy Nights and stuff like that. But now I can't, I just cannot believe it. They made the jump from Thanksgiving all the way to November 1st, uh, or maybe even Halloween, I don't even know. Um, but I heard it and I couldn't believe it and I went, kept going back through my drive and sure enough, they're playing it full time from now until probably the new year. And um, well, first of all, come on people. Uh, we're bludgeoned with this all the time, anywhere you go, whether it's a gas station or a grocery store. And while I really, really enjoy uh, the Christmas music, especially the sacred stuff, anything you listen to that much is start gonna start getting under your skin. And and so I, I guess th that's the, f there's my rant, there's my rant is like, please people, don't make me dislike this music because I really like this music and I want to keep liking this music. But if all you ever hear for the next blah, 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 it's going to get under your skin at some point. And so here's the, here's the, that's, there it is, rant, rant over. But the, the other question is, do you think that it's being done um, like intentionally? And, and that, that's, that's kind of a question just to float out there in the ethos. I mean, I know that everything that you hear on radio and see on TV, it's all driven by money, right? So if they think they can make more money by, you know, squeezing more gift buying or whatever, you know, you'll buy this Frappuccino that's, you know, candy cane flavored or whatever it is, if they think they can get more money out of you and, and by putting radio uh, onto a set list of Christmas music earlier, if they think that's going to get it done, they'll do it. And um, so, do you, but that, there's the ethos question. Do you think it's being done intentionally or, or is it market driven? Um, first of all, you know, please, just once again, I can't, I can't take it, please stop. And then thirdly, here's the challenge part of this. Maybe we as consumers need to just push back and just say, no, 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 no no more. I'm not going to buy more presents. I'm not going to buy this shiny bauble that you keep putting on TV. Maybe if we unite and say, no, no more. I want my Christmas season back. I want my Christmas music awesome and not half of the stinking calendar year. So if we unite and, and basically just say, uh-uh, no more. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to da 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 Go on down the line. And you know what? I, my guess is that the people who analyze their numbers, the financial people, the big brain wizard people in those companies are going to go, hmm, I think I see a trend here. And they'll change it. So there you have it. Rant. 
over and out. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead. You guys have an amazing day, and I was just getting ready to burst into Carol, but uh, I'm gonna stop, so there you go, bye.